AMC is going to make investors rich and I'm gonna tell you guys right now exactly why I believe this but before I do get into that make sure to go down and subscribe if you're new to the channel I do talk about AMC stock every single day so today we finished up another 7.23 percent yesterday we shot up seven percent today another seven percent and it's looking absolutely beautiful we're already up about 15 20 percent from nine dollars i do believe we're gonna break eleven dollars i said it in my last video yesterday that we're gonna break 1050 today we broke that we finished above we finished so strong literally finishing after hours at 1069 which was our all-time high today today was another green day not one time did we go red once again and i do think the bull run is going to continue tomorrow literally going into november we already have only one week until earnings what do you think is going to happen when the news comes out that amc is doing better than it was pre-pandemic levels now i don't know if that's going to happen in q3 to be honest it might be a little profitable but q4 is guaranteed and i'll get into that right now and my opinion not financial advice this is still a good buying opportunity at 1068 i've been loading up at seven eight nine even ten dollars this past month our all-time high was around eleven dollars and eleven cents so this was where adam aaron diluted the stock right back here over a month ago now we were going up and down just top trading and then started getting less and less and we then we shot up around 55 percent so the same cycle here happened right here it was going up and down and then less and less and then boom we're back on the same cycle but it looks like we're going to even crazier heights i do see us breaking 13 dollars this week this very week before friday if we do go past 11 tomorrow we're looking for a major squeeze i mean we don't know how high this can break out we don't guys you know why this past month amc was at a price it's never been at in history since it's ever been a stock it's never been this low i've been saying this is going down in history one day we're gonna look back and we're gonna be like what the hell were we thinking not buying this dip this is the dips of all dips this is the discount of all discounts, AMC under a dollar. I do think that's why they did the reverse split because I guess Adam Aaron knew that AMC was gonna go below a dollar and it was gonna be a penny stock and he couldn't have that happen. He couldn't have everyone seeing that AMC is under a dollar in the sense and then boom, everyone just buying the dip. Only the smart ones knew to buy the dip. I'm telling you right now and the smart ones are up most apes are down most long-term investors are down big time still but for the most part all of us did average down big time i averaged down and i know all you guys did too we're just jumping up in the air right now not even shooting towards the moon yet i do see us breaking 13 dollars this week it would be almost a hundred percent gain from our all-time low of seven dollars that's crazy and i do think we have a lot more room to go up not financial advice once again so let's get into what adam aaron tweeted today he said to Today is Tuesday's Halloween. Enjoy it with Taylor Swift at every AMC in the US. Tickets especially priced for the occasion at $13.13. .13. He like retweeted what he tweeted yesterday. A special for Swifties. AMC will play Taylor's smash hit record setting concert movies of the era's tour this Tuesday for Halloween. He's been going on with this number 13. What is it with this number 13? Adam Aaron has been talking about this number 13. He literally said in his last tweet, 12 of my last 13 tweets, there's that obquicious lucky number 13 again. Is the number 13 lucky? I looked it up. I did some research right now because I was curious. So I looked up, what does the number 13 mean? I mean, I'm sure everyone's heard of it. I'm sure everyone's freaking heard of the 13th floor. The first thing it says when I look this up, for the superstitious, this number brings bad luck or misfortune. I'm not on anyone's side here, but a lot of people do believe that Adam Aaron robbed them and he's been working with the hedgies. This is just a theory. I don't know if it's true. I'm not on any sides. I hope Adam Aaron's doing what is best for AMC. Let's just say because of the blackmail, he was working with the hedgies. What if this number 13 is finally bringing all the bad luck and misfortune to the hedgies? Just a theory, conspiracy theory here. This dates back to the biblical times. Judas who betrayed Jesus is said to be the 13th disciple. Also the 13th chapter of the revelation is reserved to the antichrist and to the beast, to Satan him freaking self. And what have I been saying on this channel? I've been saying that these hedge funds, these shorts can Griffin himself are going to be burning in the deepest depths of hell with Satan himself. Is this a coincidence, guys? I don't know. This is just my theory. This is my thought process on this. Why the hell is it? What is it with this number 13? Are hedge funds going to burn in hell? Are we going to burn in hell? I don't know what's about to happen, guys. This is all my opinion, and I have my life savings in AMC. I'm bullish. I'm freaking bullish. That's how much I believe in AMC. My account balance is negative four. In my portfolio, I have over $8,000 now in AMC. And I will be showing you guys every time I bought and sold AMC when I hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. So make sure to go down and subscribe if you're new. But I mean, guys, this is not a coincidence. Someone's gonna burn in hell here. 
and it's not gonna be us apes. So the hits keep on coming. Box office, Five Nights at Freddy's slays with $78 million domestically, but $130 million globally. After Taylor Swift was raised $200 million, and we don't even know what's gonna happen. Tonight is Halloween night, there's probably a freaking millions of people watching this movie right now. I've been seeing so many good reviews on this, just more and more revenue for AMC. Look at this, yup. Another one. Christopher Nolan's open humor sets IMAX re-release after a huge 183 million summer run. 183 million. Boom. Another 183 million. What the hell do you think's happening with AMC stock? It's at an all-time low, but we're having the best news we've ever had in history in its 103 years of life. This is why I'm so confident in my AMC investment. So I'm so confident that the squeeze is coming. Why so high volume at the end? I think this will be soon the end for hedgies and market makers. Blatant manipulation of financial markets which should be transparent and free. AMC is about to squeeze, guys. AMC is about to make people rich. I mean, today we closed after hours at 10.69, which was our all-time high today. I predict us going past $11 tomorrow and another 7% up. My personal prediction, not financial advice once again, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down and subscribe. We're about to hit 700 subscribers. I do love every single one of you that have subscribed. I know y'all gotta agree with me on this one. I mean, we got Taylor Swift breaking records. We got Beyonce coming out soon i'm predicting a drake concert and a bad bunny concert film do you know how big that would be amc would make another billion dollars just with that taylor swift has started something new for amc that is going to last for the rest of history but that's just my thought process on this i'm holding amc i'm holding but i'll catch you guys in my next video as y'all know i'm buying the dip here we go come on